10월 3일 쉬운 영어로 맥체인 성경 통독 오늘 말씀은 열왕기상 6장 에베소서 3장 에스겔 36장 10편 86편 말씀입니다. 
Solomon placed the cherubim inside the most holy room in the temple. Their wings were spread out. The wingtip of one cherub touched one wall. The wingtip of the other touched the other wall. The tips of their wings touched each other in the middle of the room. Solomon covered the cherubim with gold. On the walls all around the temple he carved cherubim, palm trees and open flowers. He carved them on the walls of the most holy room in the main hall. He also covered the floors of those two rooms with gold. For the entrance to the most holy room he made two doors out of olive wood. Each door was one-fifth of the width of the most holy room. On the two olive wood doors he carved cherubim, palm trees and open flowers. He covered the cherubim and palm trees with hammered gold. In the same way he made olive wood doorposts for the entrance to the main hall. Each doorpost was one-fourth of the width of the hall. He also made two doors out of juniper wood. Each door had two parts. They turned in bases shaped like cups. He carved cherubim, palm trees and open flowers on the doors. He covered the doors with gold. He hammered the gold evenly over the carvings. He used blocks of stone to build a wall around the inside courtyard. The first three layers of the wall were made out of stone. The top layer was made out of beautiful cedar wood. The foundation of the Lord's temple was laid in Solomon's fourth year. It was in the month of Ziv. The temple was finished in his eleventh year. It was in the month of Bull. That was the eighth month. Everything was finished just as the plans required. Solomon had spent seven years building the temple. Ephesians chapter 3 I, Paul, am a prisoner because of Christ Jesus. I am in prison because of my work among you who are Gentiles. I am sure you have heard that God appointed me to share his grace with you. I'm talking about the mystery God showed me. I have already written a little about it. By reading about this mystery, you will be able to understand what I know. You will know about the mystery of Christ. The mystery was not made known to people of other times. But now the Holy Spirit has made this mystery known to God's holy apostles and prophets. Here is the mystery. Because of the good news, God's promises are for Gentiles as well as for Jews. Both groups are parts of one body. They share in the promise. It belongs to them because they belong to Christ Jesus. I now serve the good news because God gave me his grace. His power is at work in me. I am by far the least important of all the Lord's holy people. But he gave me the grace to preach to the Gentiles about the unlimited riches that Christ gives. God told me to make clear to everyone how the mystery came about. In times past it was kept hidden in the mind of God, who created all things. He wanted the rulers and authorities in the heavenly world to come to know his great wisdom. The church would make it known to them. That was God's plan from the beginning. He has fulfilled his plan through Christ Jesus our Lord. Through him and through faith in him we can approach God. We can come to him freely. We can come without fear. So here is what I'm asking you to do. Don't lose hope because I am suffering for you. It will lead to the time when God will give you his glory. I bow in prayer to the Father because of my work among you. From the Father every family in heaven and on earth gets its name. I pray that he will use his glorious riches to make you strong. May his Holy Spirit give you his power deep down inside you. Then Christ will live in your hearts because you believe in him. And I pray that your love will have deep roots. I pray that it will have a strong foundation. May you have power together with all the Lord's holy people to understand Christ's love. May you know how wide and long and high and deep it is. And may you know his love, even though it can't be known completely. 
then you will be filled with everything God has for you. God is able to do far more than we could ever ask for or imagine. He does everything by his power that is working in us. Give him glory in the church and in Christ Jesus. Give him glory through all time and forever and ever. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 36 Son of man, prophesy to the mountains of Israel. Tell them, mountains of Israel, listen to the Lord's message. The Lord and King says, your enemies made fun of you. They brag, the hills you lived in for a long time belong to us now. Ezekiel, prophesy. Say, the Lord and King says, your enemies destroyed you. They crushed you from every side. So the rest of the nations took over your land. People talked about you. They told lies about you. Mountains of Israel, listen to the message of the Lord and King. He speaks to you mountains, hills, canyons and valleys. He speaks to you destroyed cities and deserted towns. The rest of the nations around you took away from you everything of value. They made fun of you. So the Lord and King says, I am very angry with those nations. I have spoken against them in the whole land of Edom. They were very happy when they took over my land. Deep down inside them, they hated Israel. They wanted to take its grasslands. Ezekiel, prophesy about the land of Israel. Speak to the mountains, hills, canyons and valleys. Tell them, the Lord and King says, I have a jealous anger against the nations. They have laughed at you. So the Lord and King says, I raise my hand and make a promise. I promise that the nations around you will also be laughed at. Mountains of Israel, you will produce branches and bear fruit for my people Israel. They will come home soon. I am concerned about you. I will do good things for you. Farmers will plow your ground. They will plant seeds in it. I will cause many people to live in Israel. The towns will no longer be empty. Their broken down houses will be rebuilt. I will cause many people and animals to live in you, Israel. They will have many babies. I will cause people to make their homes in your towns, just as I did in the past. I will help you succeed more than ever before. Then you will know that I am the Lord. I will let my people Israel live there again. They will possess you. They will receive you as their own. You will never take their children away from them again. The Lord and King says, People say to you mountains, you destroy people. You let your nation's children be taken away. But I will not let you destroy people anymore. I will no longer let your nation's children be taken away, announces the Lord and King. You will not have to listen to the nations laughing at you anymore. People will no longer make fun of you. You will not let your nation fall, announces the Lord and King. Another message from the Lord came to me. The Lord said, Son of man, the people of Israel used to live in their own land. But they made it, unclean, because of how they acted and the way they lived. To me they were, unclean, like a woman having her monthly period. They spilled people's blood in the land. They made the land, unclean, by worshipping other gods. So I poured out my great anger on them. I scattered them among the nations. I sent them to other countries. I judged them based on how they acted and on how they lived. They treated my name as if it were not holy. They did it everywhere they went among the nations. People said about them, they are the Lord's people. But they were forced to leave his land. I was concerned about my holy name. The people of Israel treated it as if it were not holy. They did it everywhere they went among the nations. So tell the Israelites, the Lord and King speaks. He says, people of Israel, I will not take action for your benefit. Instead, I will act for the honor of my holy name. You have treated it as if it were not holy. 
You did it everywhere you went among the nations. But I will show everyone how holy my great name is. You have treated it as if it were not holy. So I will use you to prove to the nations how holy I am. Then they will know that I am the Lord, announces the Lord and King. I will take you out of the nations. I will gather you together from all the countries. I will bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle pure water on you. Then you will be clean. I will make you completely pure and clean. I will take all the statues of your gods away from you. I will give you new hearts. I will give you a new spirit that is faithful to me. I will remove your stubborn hearts from you. I will give you hearts that obey me. I will put my spirit in you. I will make you want to obey my rules. I want you to be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your people of long ago. You will be my people. And I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanness. I will give you plenty of grain. You will have more than enough. So you will never be hungry again. I will multiply the fruit on your trees. I will increase the crops in your fields. Then the nations will no longer make fun of you because you are hungry. You will remember your evil ways and the sinful things you have done. You will hate yourselves because you have sinned so much. I also hate your evil practices. I want you to know that I am not doing those things for your benefit, announces the Lord and King. People of Israel, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Your conduct has brought dishonor to you. The Lord and King says, I will make you pure from all your sins. On that day I will give you homes in your towns again. Your broken down houses will be rebuilt. The dry and empty land will be farmed again. Everyone who passes through it will see that it is no longer empty. They will say, this land was completely destroyed. But now it's like the Garden of Eden. The cities were full of broken down buildings. They were destroyed and empty. But now they have high walls around them. And people live in them. Then the nations that remain around you will know that I have rebuilt what was once destroyed. I have planted again the fields that were once empty. I have spoken. And I will do this. I am the Lord. The Lord and King says, once again I will answer Israel's prayer. Here is what I will do for them. I will multiply them as if they were sheep. Large flocks of animals are sacrificed at Jerusalem during the appointed feasts there. In the same way, the destroyed cities will be filled with flocks of people. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Psalm chapter 86 A Prayer of David Lord, hear me and answer me. I am poor and needy. Keep my life safe, because I am faithful to you. Save me, because I trust in you. You are my God. Lord, have mercy on me. I call out to you all day long. Bring joy to me. Lord, I put my trust in you. Lord, you are forgiving and good. You are full of love for all who call out to you. Lord, hear my prayer. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I'm in trouble, I will call out to you. And you will answer me. Lord, there's no one like you among the gods. No one can do what you do. Lord, all the nations you have made will come and worship you. They will bring glory to you. You are great. You do wonderful things. You alone are God. Lord, teach me how you want me to live. Do this so that I will depend on you, my faithful God. Give me a heart that doesn't want anything more than to worship you. Lord my God, I will praise you with all my heart. I will bring glory to you forever. Great is your love for me. You have kept me from going down into the place of the dead. God, proud people are attacking me. A gang of mean people is trying to kill me. 
they don't care about you. But Lord, you are a God who is tender and kind. You are gracious. You are slow to get angry. You are faithful and full of love. Come to my aid and have mercy on me. Show your strength by helping me. Save me because I serve you just as my mother did. Prove your goodness to me. Then my enemies will see it and be put to shame. Lord, you have helped me and given me comfort.